hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on December 28th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Those are some pretty wicked clouds overlooking the United States. We're going to get back to that in just a moment. We're looking at a pretty active sunspot here as well. Opposite region, coronal hole developing. Under this light, 304 angstroms, you can see the plasma ropes as well. Small ejections in the southern hemisphere. And here we can really see the heliosphere being affected. Thank you, Solar Dynamics Observatory, and thank you, everybody, for watching. This is our sun the last 48 hours. One sunspot and one small coronal hole. Let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours as it's been pretty busy. Believe it or not, this is a 24-hour map right that we're looking at. Very busy for earthquakes, cascades, all the way down into San Andreas. Earthquake going off here in Oregon, abandoned Oregon. As well, Beach, Oregon. 2.7 there, 3.0. And then moving down into California as well. 3.3 here in Bree, California. Moving across the United States, 3.0 there in Picos, Texas. And as well, Steel, Missouri with a 2.5. That is the new Madrid fault line. Not too many people talk about it, but it is there. And are also looking at this earthquake swarm in Dominican Republic. Alaska, Aleutian Islands, straight across into Russia. Pretty sizable earthquakes here, 5.0 as well, 5.1 in Russia. 4.2, Adak, Alaska, and then this 3.9 in Sesmapochnoi Island, Alaska. Now this is a volcanic island, so watch for more volcanic activity as things have been popping off over here on this side too, Krakatoa. 5.0 there in Indonesia. 4.6. But then, yeah, here, the Indian plate, seeing a 4.6 just off the west coast of northern Sumatra, so that is just northwest of Krakatawa. Very large volcano. And then here, 5.5. West northwest of Marion Island, Prince Edward Island's region, south of Africa, that is the Antarctic plate line, Africa plate, South Africa plate. All of our plates are shaking right now. Stay aware, prepared, everybody. Much love to you all. God bless. Looking at South America, 4.4, Chile, Calama, Chile with a 4.2, and as well, Peru with a 4.2. So that is the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world, and it's been, as you can see, very busy. This is the last seven days, and holy smokes, I was expecting an uptick in seismicity, was not expecting this. We had those large earthquakes off the coast of Port Hardy, that is large subduction zone, Cascadia fault line. Friends and family around the world, thank you all so much for watching. We are nearing 9,000 friends and family from around the world. Please share as we're still seeing deeper earthquakes in the Fiji region. And we know that when we see deep earthquakes in the Fiji region, larger shallower earthquakes will follow here with a 403, but I know there was one deeper in the last 48 hours, 570 kilometers deep. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. Much love to you all. And here is the situation across the United States. Tornado warnings, four of them actually, across uh, Illinois, Missouri, as this tropical storm pretty much was moving across the United States, southeastern and central. But there's quite a cold front coming down from Canada. You're welcome. But it is wintertime, so Merry Christmas. I hope you all had a safe and friendly, happy holidays. But again, this storm brought out to tornado warnings throughout the day across two states and you can see here like it's just spinning that whole system is spinning across four states those clouds are just rolling like one huge tornado 
laterally going across the sky. That's insane. I've never, like, there's some insane stuff going on in our skies these days, I tell you. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center. We'll show you exactly where the tornado warnings were. Springfield, Missouri, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Little Rock, Arkansas, as well as Chevroport, Louisiana. So, yes, extreme weather was forecasted over the coming days because these large low pressure systems that I see spinning across the northern hemisphere, and this has been increasing. And it there doesn't seem to be anything stopping these storms now. They're getting bigger, they're getting stronger, and they're getting more organized. And who knows if our governments are actually trying to slow them down or are trying to screw with them, who knows? But, you know, there's a lot of speculation, there's a lot of conspiracies out there. I'm not about that. I'm about keeping people aware and prepared and showing you satellite imagery and giving my small forecast. Much love to you all. Thanks for watching. Look at this satellite imagery. Like, these are huge low-pressure systems. Check out the video that I released the other day, the day after tomorrow. It was I, I released it two days before Christmas. There's just overwhelming evidence now that that is probably going to happen. Looking here over the Arctic Circle. Look at it. at the size of the storm in the Pacific Ocean. We had the Philippines dealing with a Christmas cyclone. And now Vanuatu is about to deal with one. And possibly New Zealand later in the week when another one forms. Looking here in the South Pacific here, Tropical Cyclone South. Sare, long atmospheric river stretching straight across from Vanuatu to Argentina. You know, when I look at the NASA worldview, I'll, I'll show you next time. So tune in. When you look at our skies, there's not much blue left. That's all I can say. There's a lot of clouds up there. Let's get to our five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteo Mike. Again, thanks for watching. Here's the five-day forecast looking at that low-pressure system in the Pacific. Where is it going to go? It looks like it's going to head straight into the Aleutian Islands and not go anywhere because it's got a large, deep, lower-level trough. It's going to spin and spin and spin like a tropical storm and dump tons of snow. Look at this thing. This is a small forecast. That's a later in the forecast. Uh, you know, the forecast will get better closer towards the day of landfall but this is going to be a huge storm guys this is going to be one to talk about for the ages again tune in to our next video we'll find out how much snow is actually going to be dumping here over the next five days across eastern canada and southeastern united states a lot of extreme weather and a mixed bag of precipitation all across ontario and snow on the backside very cold temperatures coming in. I was pointing those out earlier. And Atlantic provinces dealing with the nor'easter later in the week. Not too bad of a one. I've seen a lot worse. That's all I can say. Across Europe, moderate, moderate winter. Uh, they're kind of having a warm up right now, but there's still cooler temperatures reaching all the way down to Morocco. And it's snowing in Turkey. So these higher elevations, this is where the cold temperatures are. Why? Because we have a collapsed magnetosphere. So these colder temperatures are now closer to the surface. Yeah, we're warming up. So we have extreme heat and we have extreme cold. Therefore, you get extreme weather. Huge low pressure systems across the planet right now. Look at South America massive daily evaporation. They're going to be dealing with a lot of rain over the coming days. Now they should be. And uh, maybe it won't be so dry anymore. See, there we go. Volcano Krakatoa in Indonesia just got another alert. All these low pressure systems spinning in the Pacific Ocean, South Pacific, and the, along the equator here with Cyclone.
Watch later in the week. This is a very organized, low pressure system. Definitely keeping an eye on the weather this week. Much love to you guys. I love being able to do what I do. And I would just love to have everybody involved in this huge family that we're building across the world. Looking at Australia, small relief coming towards northern and northwestern parts of the region, but still very hot and desolate. 50 degrees in some areas, 43. But you can see the east side is cooled down with some rain. Small cyclone developing here later in the week. Madagascar moving into Mozambique. Africa dealing with mass evaporation, heavy flooding. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Stay aware, prepared, stay young, and have fun, and get your morning dew. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.